Raven 1, developed by the private aerospace company Vast, is poised to become the world's first commercial space station, with a projected launch window beginning as early as May 2026. It will ride into orbit atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, signaling a major shift in space access and utilization from government-run missions to privately-led ventures. The station is designed to provide a comfortable, functional living and working environment in low Earth orbit, offering approximately 45 cubic meters of habitable space. Inside, astronauts will find private crew quarters, a deployable dining table, and a large domed observation window that allows for panoramic views of Earth and space, an element designed to support both scientific observation and the mental well-being of the crew. VAST has already begun structural testing on the module, marking a significant advancement toward the station's completion. The first mission, named VAST-1, will send four astronauts on a 30-day journey aboard Haven-1. While in orbit, they will conduct a variety of scientific experiments, including tests simulating lunar gravity, crucial research for future long-term missions to the Moon and beyond. These efforts not only support scientific discovery, but also demonstrate the station's viability for future exploration and habitation. Looking further ahead, VAST plans to expand its presence in orbit with the development of Haven 2 and additional modules, creating a modular, scalable orbital infrastructure. This vision positions Haven 1 as more than just a standalone project. It's a foundational step in building the future of commercial space exploration, in space manufacturing, and sustainable human habitation in Earth orbit. The Airbus Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 is a remarkable and forward-thinking concept that invites us to imagine a whole new era of flying, where the journey itself becomes just as enjoyable as the destination. It's a future in which air travel is not a one-size-fits-all experience, but a completely personalized, adaptable and sophisticated journey designed to meet each passenger's unique preferences and needs. Inside this cabin of the future, biometric systems will effortlessly recognize who you are and adjust your surroundings to suit you, whether you prefer a warm, dimly lit space for relaxation or a more vibrant and interactive setting to stay connected and productive. This future cabin will feature flexible seating and lounge spaces that can be reconfigured to match different preferences, letting you travel in a way that feels comfortable and tailored just for you. The seats may morph and move, transforming from a cozy spot to rest into a communal area where you can connect and collaborate with fellow passengers. Furthermore, advanced AR and VR technologies will be integrated into the cabin, turning your flight into an interactive journey filled with rich digital worlds and personalized entertainment. Sustainability is at the core of this future, with materials designed to be lightweight, durable, and environmentally friendly, uh, and energy-efficient systems reducing the aircraft's carbon footprint. Mood-enhancing lighting, private pods, and communal spaces all come together to promote relaxation, well-being, and a sense of community transforming air travel into something more than just a way to get from one place to another. With personalized service, sophisticated technology, and a deep consideration for passenger experience, the Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 promises a smarter, more enjoyable, and more sustainable future for flying. A future where your journey feels less like a means to an end, and more like a rich and rewarding experience in its own right. The A-200 Aerobase is an advanced, multifunctional airship developed by the Russian company Eros Mena, specifically designed for military use. This state-of-the-art aircraft is engineered to carry heavy payloads of up to 200 tons, making it a powerful asset in modern defense operations. What sets the A-200 apart is its unique role as a mobile aerial base for drones and UAVs, allowing it to support a wide range of missions from the sky. It is capable of flying along pre-planned routes while simultaneously launching unmanned aerial vehicles for combat or reconnaissance purposes. After completing their tasks, these UAVs can return to the airship for reloading, repairs, or redeployment, streamlining logistics and reducing reliance on ground-based support. The A200's ability to function as a mobile airbase offers significant tactical advantages, especially in remote or hostile environments where traditional infrastructure is unavailable or vulnerable. 
by enhancing both flexibility and responsiveness. It provides a new level of efficiency in managing military operations. This innovative platform not only improves real-time mission support, but also marks a considerable advancement in modern military capabilities. With the A200 Aerobase, military forces gain a strategic edge. Combining mobility, technology, and firepower in a single airborne system designed to meet the complex demands of 21st century warfare. The Sierra Space Habitat, officially known as the LIFE Large Integrated Flexible Environment, represents a remarkable step forward in how humans may live and work in space. Uh, developed by Sierra Space, this inflatable habitat is engineered to be compact enough for launch aboard a standard rocket and then expanded once in orbit to create a spacious three-story living and working environment. With a diameter of 27 feet, the LIFE habitat is designed to comfortably support a crew of four astronauts for extended missions in low Earth orbit and even beyond. Inside the structure, the habitat is equipped with everything necessary for long-duration space habitation. It includes designated areas for scientific research, complete with laboratory setups, as well as exercise equipment to help astronauts maintain their health in microgravity. A medical bay ensures access to healthcare during missions, and a built-in AST garden system allows for the cultivation of fresh produce, enhancing both nutrition and psychological well-being during long stays in space. The modular inflatable design not only reduces launch costs, but also provides flexibility and scalability for future space missions. By integrating sustainability, comfort, and functionality, the Sierra Space Life Habitat offers a cost-effective and innovative solution for future space stations, lunar bases, and even potential missions to Mars. This revolutionary habitat is paving the way for a new era of human space exploration and long-term habitation beyond Earth. The Boeing Recoverable Launch Booster was an ambitious and forward-thinking concept developed during the 1960s aimed at significantly lowering the cost of sending spacecraft into orbit. At a time when most rockets were entirely expendable, this innovative design envisioned a reusable booster stage that could return to Earth after launch and be used again. The booster featured a dual-body structure and incorporated both rocket engines for the initial ascent and turbojet engines for the return journey. Once the spacecraft separated and continued into orbit, the booster would fire its turbojet engines, allowing it to perform a controlled flight back through the atmosphere. It was designed to land on a conventional runway, where it could then be inspected, refurbished, and prepared for another mission. Though the idea held great potential and shared similarities with concepts being explored today, such as SpaceX's reusable rockets, the project never reached the construction or testing phase. Advancements in other areas of aerospace engineering and shifts in government and industry priorities eventually led to its cancellation. Nevertheless, the Boeing Recoverable Launch Booster concept was far ahead of its time, laying the conceptual groundwork for the reusable launch systems that are now reshaping modern space travel. Celeste by Zafalto is an innovative and luxurious space tourism venture developed by the French aerospace company Zafalto. Scheduled to launch by the end of 2024, Celeste reimagines near-space travel by using a stratospheric balloon to lift a pressurized capsule, offering a serene, elegant journey to the edge of space. This high-altitude experience will take six passengers and two crew members to an altitude of over 882,000 feet, approximately 25 kilometers, where they'll witness the curvature of the Earth and the darkness of space through panoramic windows. Unlike traditional rocket launches, this ascent is silent and smooth, lasting several hours and providing an intimate connection with the planet from above. Celeste is designed with an emphasis on comfort and exclusivity, featuring a gourmet dining experience curated by top French chefs, luxury interiors focused on sun serenity and aesthetic excellence, personalized services for each guest, elevating the experience beyond tourism into the realm of haute couture space travel. Combining cutting-edge aerospace engineering with hospitality and French design finesse, Zafalto Celeste offers a sustainable, low-emission alternative to conventional spaceflight, bringing space within reach of civilian adventurers seeking unforgettable, opulent exploration at the edge of Earth's atmosphere. 
the Mars Sample Return Mission, a groundbreaking collaboration between NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, is one of the most ambitious interplanetary endeavors ever attempted. Its primary goal is to collect rock, soil, and atmospheric samples from the surface of Mars and transport them back to Earth for detailed scientific analysis. The mission unfolds in a series of complex steps. First, NASA's Perseverance rover is tasked with gathering and securely storing a variety of Martian samples. These sealed sample tubes will then be picked up by a future retrieval lander, which will carry them to a small rocket, the Mars Ascent Vehicle, that will launch them into orbit around Mars. Once in orbit, a specially designed orbiter will rendezvous with the sample container, capture it, and begin the long journey back to Earth. If successful, this mission will provide scientists with direct access to Martian material for the first time in history, opening up possibilities for groundbreaking discoveries about the Red Planet's geological history and the potential for ancient microbial life. However, the mission is not without its challenges. Its complexity and scope have led to rising costs, currently projected at around $10 billion, and potential delays could push the timeline for sample return into the late 2030s. In response, NASA is seeking to involve private aerospace companies to help streamline operations, enhance efficiency, and manage costs. Despite the hurdles, the Mars Sample Return mission holds the promise of transforming our understanding of Mars and bringing humanity one step closer to the goal of exploring the planet firsthand. Spaceship Two, officially known as VSS Unity, is a groundbreaking suborbital space plane developed by the Spaceship Company, a subsidiary of Virgin Galactic. Designed with the aim of making space tourism a reality, this reusable spacecraft represents a bold step forward in commercial space travel. Unlike traditional rockets, the journey aboard Spaceship Two begins with a horizontal takeoff. The space plane is first attached beneath a large carrier aircraft called White Knight Two, which lifts it to a high altitude. Once at the designated release point, Spaceship Two detaches and fires its rocket engine, propelling the craft and its passengers into the lower reaches of space. During the flight, Passengers aboard VSS Unity experience a few moments of true weightlessness and are treated to a spectacular view of Earth from the edge of space, a view once reserved only for astronauts. After this brief but unforgettable experience, the spacecraft transitions into a gliding descent, ultimately landing on a runway like a conventional airplane. This innovative approach to space travel not only eliminates the need for a vertical rocket launch, but also allows the vehicle to be reused, making the entire operation more efficient and sustainable. Virgin Galactic Spaceship Two has captured global attention for making space more accessible to civilians. It represents a fusion of cutting edge aerospace technology and the growing demand for space exploration experiences, uh, marking the beginning of a new era in human travel beyond Earth's atmosphere. Blue Walker 3 is a game-changing advancement in satellite safe. communications, aiming to establish the world's first no space-based cellular are, broadband network capable of connecting directly to standard smartphones, mountain, no special hardware canyon, or satellite phones required. Desert, Developed by AST Space Mobile, this groundbreaking satellite features an enormous 693-square-foot phased array antenna that unfolds in orbit, ST enabling it to deliver strong and reliable signals from space to Earth. The success of Blue Walker 3 has already marked several major milestones, including the first-ever voice call and 5G data connection from space to an unmodified smartphone, an achievement that sets a new benchmark in global communication. Looking ahead, the company is preparing to launch its Bluebird satellite constellation, which will expand coverage and further enhance network performance. By collaborating with leading telecom giants like AT&T and Vodafone, AST Space Mobile aims to eliminate connectivity blackouts across all environments, whether on land, at sea, or in the sky. This technology has the potential to bring seamless 4G and 5G coverage to rural villages, isolated islands, and even remote wilderness areas, transforming how people stay connected connected around the world. Blue Walker AST 3 isn't Space just an engineering an marvel. It's a bold leap toward truly Texas. universal mobile communication, redefining the future of global connectivity. That means almost all the Sunbird nuclear fusion rocket developed by Pulsar Fusion 
stands at the forefront of next generation space propulsion technology and represents a bold step toward transforming the future of interplanetary travel. Unlike traditional chemical rockets, which are limited in both speed and efficiency, the Sunbird is powered by nuclear fusion, the same energy process that powers the Sun. This groundbreaking technology has the potential to dramatically reduce travel times across the solar system. In theory, it could cut the journey to Mars down to just three to four months, making human missions to the Red Planet far more feasible and less physically demanding for astronauts. But the implications go well beyond Mars. Thanks to its extremely high thrust to weight ratio and impressive energy efficiency, the Sunbird fusion engine could also enable missions to much farther destinations, such as Saturn's moon Titan or the metal rich asteroid Psyche, in timeframes previously thought impossible. Its power output and propulsion capabilities would allow for heavier payloads, more scientific equipment, and even advanced life support systems key elements for long-duration missions and potential colonization efforts. Additionally, the fusion reactor on board could serve as a significant power source during these missions, supporting not just propulsion, but also onboard systems, habitats, and experimental tools. With this technology, deep space exploration could become faster, safer, and more sustainable, marking a pivotal shift in how we think about reaching and living in space. The Sunbird isn't just a rocket. It's a gateway to a future where humanity can travel deeper into the cosmos than ever before.